Um, we're covering Colorado first with your forecast. The clouds stuck around for much of the mm -hmm. day. Colorado can sure use that moisture, Dave. What a pretty picture that is with a little bit of the snow here and there and a few clouds. Uh, certainly, I don't think the weather will keep you from going to that show tonight if you feel like doing that. Our uh, system is kind of just pulling away. There's still a little sprinkle here and there going on out there, but the bulk of the moisture now is gravitated down into southern Colorado, south of Pueblo, all the way down to uh, just outside of Trinidad down here. Meantime, here's what we're dealing with. We have a lot of clouds cover still and there's still a little sprinkle action going on from DIA down through Aurora where it changes over to snow once it goes up the Palmer Divide just around Kiowa up over Monument Hill and then into the Black Forest down there so some of that is still accumulating in some areas but man oh man does this pack a punch as far as water goes from uh, sections of uh, old Albert County all the way across Douglas County into Jefferson County anywhere from a quarter of an inch all the way up to a half inch of rain there from Denver all the way up through Fort Collins same deal there quarter of an inch to a half inch depending upon where you are so much needed moisture out of this guy and there may be a couple of more chances in the week ahead of getting some more April showers in the form of rain and then maybe even a few light snow flurries. Speaking of snow, Westminster had two inches from Tom up there, Bob and Estes Park at three, three and a half, four and a half from Franktown into Conifer there from Phil and Bambi and Silverthorne, Mark Manheimer, our weather watcher up there, seven inches of good snow. Speaking of the mountains, take a look at some of these ski towns. They saw anywhere from three to five inches of snow from Breckenridge Purgatory into Winter Park, Eldora, Loveland and A Basin. Not crazy amounts, but there is some moisture to be had. Look how big this storm is. You can see the low just rotating right around Kansas here. A lot of water, a lot of rain from Wichita down to just outside of Dallas. Those are big thunderstorms that are rumbling up as that front moves in that direction. Meantime, what we will see overnight tonight with the clearing skies, there's enough moisture out there that we could get some fog in many locations out over eastern Colorado tomorrow. And then by about 9, 10 o'clock, it starts to clear out. Late in the day, we might get a little sprinkle of rain in some of the mountain communities. High temperatures today, you can see where the cold is, and it did actually make it into the mountains here. 47 in Greeley today, 45 in Fort Collins, 41 in Boulder. We were at 39 degrees today. Aspen at 41, so it was warmer in Aspen today than it was in Denver. Other weather watchers reporting temperatures this afternoon. Joy Jordan and Bennett coming in at 37 and Jim Weindorf up in Severance at 45. So tonight we might still see some of these sprinkles from Denver all the way down to North Colorado Springs. Then it moves on out of here after midnight. The fog settles in a lot of locations over eastern Colorado, clear in the mountains and the western slope and then by about nine o'clock tomorrow who gets on out of here we're mostly sunny for most of the day with just a few of those sprinkles expected late in the day in the mountains so overnight lows tonight it will be cold in the high country 20s and 30s there same thing here and then looking ahead for tomorrow a lot of 60s showing up at the lower elevations even a few 70s mixed in with the 60s out there out west. Partly, um, well, I should say patchy fog tonight forming late. will be about 36 for the overnight low. And then tomorrow, morning fog, then clearing out. And we'll be in the middle 60s tomorrow. Not too bad. 68 on Monday, a warm day. Monday night, though, we may see a few showers or thunderstorms and maybe a few flurries of snow on Tuesday. Another quick hit for us. And then we clear out Wednesday and Thursday. And, of course, later tonight, we have that plus four more forecast. There's more showers uh, in the forecast there. And you want to tune in for that one. Yeah, but luckily, I think they're getting that Rockies game in tonight, right? Yeah, I think it'll be a good night tonight, and tomorrow will be a great day for the Rockies game, too. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Well, if